Good morning, sunshine! Or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. So today in DML, I just wanted to point out quick that there is a really, really cool offer on at the moment with the Castle Dragon being on sale. So this dragon has literally never been available since the original castle event forever ago. Literally forever ago. So this was one of the rarest dragons in DML. Obviously, now that the bundle's out, he may not be as rare, but it is still £21, so they put a pretty steep price on him. But we have a new divine to hatch. Well, technically on our Android account anyway, because we have a Tai Zenran dragon that I want to get out, get leveled up, get powered up as fast as we can. I mean, he's a very cool looking divine dragon. Just look at that. The capital D divine looks so regal. That's what I like to see. So this is our only divine on a secondary account so far. But if you're someone that did manage to get a hold of the Tai Zenran during the last divine event and you're a decently low level, having this dragon available is so good because the Tai Zenran is arguably the best dragon in the entire game. So anyone that has it and say you haven't taken it out of your inventory or anything else quite yet, why not? Why have you not done it yet? Like, genuinely, this dragon is... If you can afford the enchantment materials to upgrade it, and the academy upgrades, and you can afford to, you know, unlock all of his elements, this is probably the best dragon you can ever, ever have. So, you know, just in case you were wondering, you know, what should I put on a team? If you have this guy, make sure you, you actually bother to use him. But he's just so cool, and look at him, he's like begging for food. What a little cutie. But yesterday we did also finish off our Pixie Dot's Light Element Awakening. So now we have our Pixie Dot, which is upgraded a little bit as well. And I, I still don't know what direction we're going, because, you know, we're doubling up on the Light Element with the Tizendron and the Pixie Dot. So I'm not sure if that's really going to be good for us. I mean, it's not too bad having, like, two elements that are the same on a team. Mostly if it's, like, double divine, double plan. So, I'm kind of umming and ahhing. It's like, uh, uh, have, have our entire team plans changed? Because I completely forgot that our Tai Zenrin was on this account, by the way. So, you know, now that we have him, we should probably definitely use him. Because we are planning on using the Tai Zenran on our main account as well. But if we were to use him on our Android account, it might give us an idea of, you know, how he does early on as well. And I mean, having a dragon that isn't weak to anything, has Shadow and Plant, and has such a high attack stat, I can't imagine him seeming bad in any way. If that makes sense. No, he's just so good. Like most of the Divines. Uh, most of the Divines are just always going to be better anyway. But we'll awaken his light element regardless. We'll see what happens. So that is another day that we have to wait. Why couldn't they just make it like half an hour? Why is it going to be a full 24 hours to do anything? So we've got the Erlang Shen in here. We do have the Nezha Dragon as well. And I believe that's the only Divine we have. Probably. So we'll pop the Nezha into the hatchery now, and it's 4 days and 19 hours base to hatch a divine. Or what you can do is, you know, we've been getting some of these special events that give us VIP tickets, so we can become VIP for a day, and then it'll go down to 3 days and 20 hours whenever we have VIP enabled. So it takes off a full day worth of waiting. So if you do have like VIP tickets to use and you've got divines or legendaries to take out definitely use your VIP tickets then so I hope those little set of tipsies that I just gave are useful to anyone that is relevant to at the moment we have an elixir dragon here oh look it's an epic dragon epic dragons are so rare yeah not I actually hate this elixir dragon you know, as much as I BM the elixir, it's actually not that bad for an early game dragon. But you do need VIP level 8 
plus to be able to breed it. So it's it's not something that is good for a free to play player by any stretch of the imagination. And you know, there's so many people out there that always struggle to realize that they're like, oh, I managed to and beat the entire map in like two months because I'm the best player in the world. And then it's like, yeah, but what VIP level are you? It's like, oh, I've been playing DML six months. I'm only VIP level 20. It's like, ah, I see. I see how you got there. And they, they just like try to vehemently deny that them spending like thousands of dollars in like two months is a little bit excessive. And they like try and say, I'm such a good player, don't you see? I have higher level dragons than you. It's like, yeah, sure. I mean, I could, you know, put a ton of gems on to upgrade all of my divines instantly with enchantment materials. Am I going to do it? No. Why? Because it costs a fortune. So, the most important thing to do in DML is build a strong team. And no matter how long it takes you, it doesn't matter how long it takes, because not everyone plays the game for the same amount of time. All that matters is that eventually you get all your dragons to level 80, you get them all enchanted, and you know, you get clan dragons to help you out as well. Again, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there, because you don't know whether the next person works for 24 hours a day, and then doesn't sleep and then has zero minutes for DML. Obviously that's not true because otherwise they would never play the game. But you just don't know. Like if you're someone that has a really free schedule, you can put all the hours of your day into playing the game. And plus if you spend money, it does help. Like I have never ever denied that spending money in DML is a massive, massive help. Do I agree that that's how the game should be? No, not particularly, to be completely honest with you. Although at the same time, for players that are just coming into the game, it gives them the opportunity to get a boost towards some of the higher level players if they're willing to spend the money to do so. Because if you think about it, if the game was just all grind and you weren't able to pay any amount of money to speed it up, then new players would literally forever be behind the old players. Although saying that, that's still the case for free-to-play new players. So rest in peace, your, po your poor souls, to all of you. But, I don't know. I always struggle with trying to decide whether I'm for all the pay the pay-to-win bits of DML or whether I'm against it. Is there so many reasons for and so many reasons against it? And obviously making a game mostly pay to play does also mean that, you know, the actual development team and the company get money so that they can make new stuff for the game. So it's, it's all a massive debacle. But I just tend to not even think about spending money on DML now. Like the last few months I just... I have not bothered. I just, I honestly don't see a massive point. I've just had enough VIP tickets to last me quite a few days. And when we start to run out, maybe my mindset will change a bit. Because VIP is insanely good. Apart from the VIP dragons, the VIP only dragons suck. But, I don't know. Just get all your divines, get all your special dragons, get them all upgraded. Do it. And always at least have one divine on your main team. If you don't have one divine, I don't know what you're doing. I don't even know what else there is to, like, say apart from that. I mean, if you've just got a good divine on your team, you are, like, dead set. Like, if you manage to get the Tai Zenrin, you are good to go. Like, if you have no other divines, that is fine as long as you have that one divine available. That is how good he is. Which is very depressing in a sense. Very big rip. I don't know what I'm going to do on Android. I barely even know what I'm doing on my main account. I I'm just happy we at least have three dragons set in stone for now. Which are these three I'm using. And then eventually we will 
change to other dragons, just not quite yet. Because we just need to focus on getting three dragons fully leveled, and then we can go and mess around, do whatever the hell we want with other stuff. Which is fair. Oh god, Saini does like no damage still though. He's level 77 and he still feels like he doesn't do anything. It's because he doesn't have any damage over time attacks like Plan or Shadow. Because I've, I've gotten so used to Infection feeling like a normal attack's worth of damage, but technically it's like two turns worth. I don't know, maybe, maybe I shouldn't get used to that because then whenever I use a different attack type, like, I don't know, um, water or earth or something, it's going to feel terrible. It really is. But yeah, little Fico here, he will get upgraded at some point or another. It's just, you know, we need to focus on Saini. He will be level 78 after we get the next lot of food from out of here. So that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, and speaking of which, we need to finish off doing our clan stuff. Come on, let's wreck this little tower here. Although, on our own, we're not doing a lot of damage, obviously. 579 damage! Whoa! We're doing so much! No sarcasm there. None at all. Oh, we are beating Area 51 with the, the image of an alien dragon. I actually like that. I like that little theme that they've got going there. Area 51 with the alien dragon. Not bad. I can appreciate that. But we're going to continue on with this. We've got another day and 19 hours. Will we defeat their mid-clan dragon? Probably, definitely not. But we'll keep going anyway. And wait, why have we split the damage between these two towers? Who's been attacking separate towers? Come on now. You know, you should always focus down at least one tower all the way, just defeat it, and then move on to the next one. Because if you split your damage and then you don't defeat either of them, you don't get any of the rewards. Someone's gonna get a telling off in a minute. Big naughty doing that, splitting all of our damage. Tut, tut, tut. Most people want the clan dragon pack, so that's why we take those out first. Oh, and I did get a another apprentice. They have not said hello to me yet, so I'm feeling pretty, you know, mugged off. So I feel like I'm being ignored. Uh, this Arabic, I believe, or something, Dragon Master has not logged in for 15 days. So we're going to have to get rid of him soon. I oh, know, the, the whole... The whole garbage apprentice thing is getting on my nerves at this point, so I ain't even gonna think about it anymore. No, not even thinking about it. So, that is gonna do me for now. Good luck with all your stuff, and like I said, make sure you get in on this Castle Dragon offer if you haven't already, or if you're interested, because that is a very cool dragon. Very cool dragon indeed to have in your collection. But, for now, thank you very much for joining me, and until next time... I'll see you then.